All right, guys, mid-February, I'm out at the field here in North Carolina. Just taking a look at the motor. Everything looks good for our pre-flight. And I want to show you guys something that I'm going to do here on this flight tonight. I have a new chase cam, new to me. This chase cam was actually uh, 3D printed by my friend Sean Simons. And you can see the chase cam here. I just put it together with some little wires and some black electrical tape. I had the GoPro on here, and today I'm trying to fit the GoPro in the perfect configuration so I get the entire wing plus the pilot during the flight. I feel like that gives you the best perspective. You can also see how the inputs impact the wing tips. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. So here we have the GoPro 11 on the chase cam. Before I tighten that down, let me show you what I'm going to do. The reason I'm using this GoPro 11 black is that it has a mode beyond super view called hyper view and that allows uh, the tallest vertical screen and the widest screen available of any of the gopros all right let me back up here and take a look at the gopro website where they talk about a new sensor release on gopro 11. typically they've had the 4.3 aspect ratio sensor this year they moved to a sensor that allows for 8 by 7 aspect ratio. In post-production you can edit your video so they have a vertical orientation. Apparently they also leverage this sensor for a new view that's beyond super view called hyper view and they talk about it a little bit on the website. I experiment with that hyper view in this video. Take a look at the footage. I think there are some pros and cons. So I'm going to go ahead and start that recording. Okay, I put like a bit of a spacer, which is basically the cap of a marker here. So when I tip this all the way back, it's, it's pretty well locked into position, okay? Got that all set. It's hooked up, not to the first line, but the second. My mother's out at the field helping me record today. And let me just go in and record Fly Sky High. So we can capture all of the metrics of our flight here. We're all set. Clear prop. Okay. So right off the bat, I love that this GoPro is picking up the entire wing and the motor. So I've offset the chase camera by a couple feet from center so that when I land, the chase camera comes forward and it won't hit the motor or the prop. But I've noticed that there is some distortion with this hyper view. So something like a fisheye lens and it's really exaggerated when you can see the left part of the wing looks different than the right. I have to think about that a little bit. I think it's particularly bad during a turn. It's still early and there's a little bit of uh, thermic activity but it feels pretty good. The forecast calls for only one or two knots of wind so it's only going to get better guys. Let's do my favorite little loop here.
guys get the idea. I left a few images here from the chase cam and some other views having fun with cameras on this day but didn't actually fly anywhere far. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Let me know if you have any comments or questions about this. Look forward to experimenting, dialing some of this stuff in, and be able to tell some great stories about flights and adventures this coming spring. Let me get a little bit of a drop here. We'll kill that motor. Lean forward. My heart is beating very fast right now. Huh. Thanks for helping me with this video, Mom. Appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Make sure to come back as we continue our adventures in our next videos.